I believe everyone has experienced fear, no matter who you are or where you are. Fear is something everyone feels at some point in their life. Some people have fear of heights, some people have fear of small spaces, and some people have fear of public speaking, and of course, some people have fear of falling in love. Hyalophobia is a term that describes a fear of glass. People with this phobia are fearful of glass fragility and are constantly afraid of glass breaking into shards. Unfortunately, when I was four years old, I became one of them. Everything started due to an accident. I attended a wedding with my parents. I was having so much fun running around with other little kids. I felt thirsty at one moment, so I ran to a table and got a cup of water. I guess I was too hyper when I tried to drink the water. I accidentally bit the cup. To my surprise, the glass cup broke. I will never forget the feeling of glass shards surrounding my tongue like a hundred tiny needles. Luckily, I didn't get hurt that much because my mom saved me. After that, I was so scared of touching glass. I shook so hard when I approached any glass product. I was afraid of doing any science experiments at school because I needed to hold the beakers. Glass is such a beautiful thing to observe and touch, but I was not able to do so. I love art. It's such a pity for me to miss glass, this beautiful art in my daily life. I decided to attack my hyalophobia. I wanted to touch glass. I wanted to feel the smooth surface and to see the beautiful design. I started trying to convince myself that it wouldn't hurt me. At first, I tried to push myself to touch the glass directly. When I saw a glass ball, my brain was telling me to go ahead, but my heart stopped me. My fingers were trembling like dead leaves on a winter tree, and my feet became heavy like blocks of stone. I couldn't do it. I blamed myself, and I got disappointed. After a while, my mood became calmer. I stopped pushing myself to change. I started to make myself get used to my phobia. When I had to use glass, I would see it as another material because I was trying to lie to my brain. My fear got so much better when I began to ignore the fact that I was using glass. One day, my dad's friend came over to our house for dinner. I was drinking orange juice from a beautiful glass cup, which I pretended was made from something else. However, my dad's friend started to talk about his plan of opening a glass art factory. And he kept on seeing how attractive it is and how much people like it. Glancing at my cup for a second, he said that he really liked how it was designed. Suddenly, I dropped my cup on the ground and it shattered. I was shocked. My brain was a blank at the moment because I didn't even feel scared. That was a quick incident. However, I found that my fear disappeared after I actually had broken the glass. When it hit the ground, my phobia was also broken. The glass blenders hadn't hurt me at all. I used to be so scared of breaking glass, but when I experienced it again, I found that it was not that scary. The transition was quick. Ever since, I began to pay more attention to the glass in my life. I had never noticed how beautiful it is. I got encouraged to approach it, and I started to buy those glass items and prove myself that I had conquered my fear. Facing your fear is not an easy thing to do. Sometimes you are so afraid of doing something, but you just need to try it for one more time. That might happen on purpose or by accident, and then you may find that overcoming the fear that you used to have is just a piece of cake. Thank you. Shout out. Rio and Kelly, I didn't know you guys are coming, but thank you for coming for my senior speech. And thank you for like always being by my side and help me. I love you. Viola, I enjoyed these three years I spent and live with you, and I thank you for being the best roommate ever. Anita, I can never forget the 20 days we lived together and studied TOEFL together. We tried every restaurant nearby. Thank you for always cheering me up. RHB teachers and faculties, thank you so much, and I appreciate everything you have done. Effie? We always give each other weird nicknames, but I like those. You're such a talented artist and you have a smart brain. I hope we can both get into the same college. I love you. Iris, you're so smart and you're so good at doing art. I can never forget the time of being weird together. We crack up every five minutes when we're with each other and we never stop laughing. I'm so glad that you came into my life. I love you. 
Thank you for always being by my side and helping with everything. Michelle, there's so much to say. You became my mom since I first came to America. You're so nice, supportive, and caring. You're always there whenever I need help and support. You're, you helped me go through a lot. I'm, I'm gonna miss you so much when I go to college. I enjoy being a member of Castillo family for so long. I love all of you to the moon and back. Dad and mom, thank you for giving me a lot of freedom to make my own choice since when I was little. You give me so much support, even though you guys are in China right now. I love you guys. Me too. You're my best friend slash roommate slash mom slash sister. You're always here to support me, listen to me. When we first met each other, we became best friends. It happened so naturally. I enjoyed the time when we were sitting there and doing nothing but satisfied with it because we're with each other. I still can't believe that we're going on our separate way after this year. I seriously have no idea how I'm gonna survive without you in college. I love you so, so, so much. Hashtag cuckoo kaka. <laughs> class, class of 2017, I mean 2018. Thank you so much and I love you guys. I will never regret getting to know you all. Thank you.